Hey guys, it's Pink Paper Blossom here. I hope you're all doing well. You might have noticed on my YouTube channel that I took a bit of a break. Life just got really hectic and really crazy. My job got really demanding and I had a lot of work. And then on the side, I've been dealing with some personal issues as well. So it's been a couple crazy months and I just, I haven't been able to craft. I haven't had time to record, to edit. So there's, I think there might be a couple of videos uploaded before this one. Those were pre-recorded before my break, but they weren't edited until today when I'm recording this. Because like I said, I just haven't had time to do anything other than, than work. But anyway, that's the intro for today. I just wanted to let you know why I've been away. I wasn't planning on not uploading, but life got in the way and it was just a bit of a mess. So, because I haven't had time to do much other than, you know, sort my life out, I haven't been able to craft much, so I don't have a lot to show you yet. I am working on a project that hopefully I'll show you soon, but at this point in time, I don't have much to show you other than my very big online shopping sprees for the summer sales. I've gone a little bit crazy with the summer sales, but there's things that were really cheap, and I thought, you know, I might as well take advantage of the summer sales. So today is going to be an easy video like that. I'm just going to do a massive collective haul. And I don't want this intro to be any longer. So let's just dive right into the products. I've got about three huge boxes filled to the brim with stuff. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you is AliExpress. I bought not a lot of stuff, but a few bits and bobs from Ali, and I'm just going to show you. The first thing I received were these vellum sheets. There were more in each packet, but I've already used some. But basically, these are just kind of like gingham patent vellum sheets in all sorts of different colours. I think, like I always do, I will link all the AliExpress products down below. I think they had, this was like the purples and blues, this was the yellows and greens, and I think they had a red one, a pink one. I mean, they just had all sorts of different, like, um, sets. But yeah, just gingham patterns, bigger, smaller squares, really nice, all sorts of different colours in the same kind of, like, colour scheme. I thought these would be really nice. I've made some bows with this that I'll show you very soon. So that's the purple set. And then this would be the yellows and greens and oranges or whatnot. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think they come in packs of 12. But obviously these aren't complete because um, I've already used some, like I said. The next thing I got were these little boxes. I got one in pink and one in green. I just got these for garden party happy mail. I thought these would be really nice little boxes to put in happy mail with, I don't know, maybe wire rabbit beads in there or even bows or something like that. Next thing I got were these charms. These are teapot. Whoops. These are teapot charms. You get 10 in the set and I got those for garden party. The next thing I got were two sets of these jemmies. These are really nice and I was really looking forward to getting some of these. I can't remember exactly where I got them from. Oh, I think these might be, are these KS Craft? Maybe. Yeah, maybe, it might be. This row in the middle was stunning. The gold ones are really nice. I really like this salmon colour. Just all of them are lovely. So I decided to get two packs of those. And then I think I'm not getting this wrong, but from KS Crafts, I also got the embossed rosette die. So this is the rosette die that embosses the ends and you just fold them in. I still have to use this, I haven't even tried it, but um, I'm really excited for this. Really, really excited for that. And then last but not least, I got a few kind of faux leather glitter sheets that I wanted to use, well, I want to use to cover some albums and make some albums and stuff. So the first one I got is this one. This is a really thin one, very, very thin, but it, it's yellow and it's got kind of like 
I don't know if you can see, kind of like um, a used aspect to it. So I got that in yellow and I got it in a soft pink, like almost white, very, very soft pink. Really nice. Then I got this faux leather in purple. I'm not really huge on purple, but I've started to like it a bit more since the Garden Party collection. And um, I'm trying to indulge in it. So I got myself a few bits in purple. Um, I got the same one in baby pink. And then I got this glitter one in purple. So that's that from AliExpress. The next thing I got, hold on, I'm making a mess of my table. The next thing I did is I went to um, the equivalent of like a dollar store in Spain, um, something like that. And I just got a few bits. Some of these, most of these in fact, are for Happy Mail to gift to my mates. So the first thing I got were these jemmies. That's kind of like a pearly iridescent. They've all got kind of an iridescent um, hue to them but I love it I love the white the pink I love this dark one love these here the yellow just beautiful and then I got two of these that's like an ombre version so it goes from dark red all the way down to kind of like a vanilla light yellow color I also got these little baubles that have kind of like pastel star glitter pieces inside glitter sequins that's basically what they've got so you get six in there and then i got these beads these are really nice can you see the little hole through them they go from top to bottom and these are just some shell beads i got this specifically from for a friend of mine that's got the sunny days collection and i think it's going to work really nice for that and then i got two packs of these pastel color pom-poms they're quite big and i just got these to kind of like scatter around the happy mail box the next thing i did is i went to a craft store here in spain and i got myself a few bits so i got this paper pad this store is for those of you living in europe I suppose um, it'll be all around Europe. It's called Teddy. And I, if I'm not mistaken, it's a German shop, I think. So this is a paper pad, um, 12 by 12, which is 30.5 by 30.5 centimeters. And it's got 24 sheets and they come in all of these different colors. They're quite pastel colors. This has been so useful that whenever I go and see another one, I'll definitely get more, but yeah just really really lovely colors they're different front and back so like they're double-sided it's really really nice oh i love this aqua blue yeah i hope you can really see the color because the light isn't great today but yeah anyway really nice really good purchase i'm gonna leave that down there at the bottom then I got myself this macaron or macaroon, macaroon I think, um, keychain for some garden party happy mail. And then lastly, I got myself two paper pads of these basic white craft and black paper. This isn't at the shop very often, so when I saw it, I got one for myself. I've almost gone through the other one that I had and then I got one for my friend as well because she was looking for it for ages and couldn't find it so yeah basically what you get here is 60 sheets I suppose this is in German so 60 sheets you get 10 that are 170 GSM 10 that are 250 GSM in white and then the equivalent in craft and in black so you've got some that are thicker and some that are thinner. And you've got in black, in craft, and in white. Very, very useful paper pad. Really good purchase that was. And then, then I got a lot of stuff from online shops. So this is a mixture of all sorts of different um, online shops. Um, I can't remember where I bought each thing, so I'm just gonna go through them. 
Okay, some of these I've already opened because I've already used, but the first thing I got were the Marigold um, sticker rolls, I think these are called. Well, yeah, you've probably all seen these before, but these are just the Marigold animal stickers, and then you also get the kind of like stamp stickers. So I got a box of those. Then I also got the Marigold washi tapes. There they are. This one here is by far my favourite. I love this one. I love this one as well. All of them really. I just really like them all. But yeah, those were really nice. Then I also got this die. This is a Polaroid die. And you can also um, cut the kind of like like and a little strip so you can write down what it's for kind of like what the photo represents and stuff and this is a Laura by Laura die which is really really nice I really like it the size is quite big guys look at my hand quite big really good die I also got these marigold paper clips no they're not paper clips marigold clothes pins I think you call these um, I actually bought two but one of them came with Want the little house broken right down the middle so I messaged the company and they sent me one straight away within like a day so now I've got three sets which is good because I'm planning on gifting some of these I also got two of the marigold bows again I'm planning on gifting at least one of these then I also got the Sweet Story Bows. I love these. I've already used three of those. I was planning on gifting one of them and using another set. I'll probably buy some more because I really like how this goes with a bunch of different collections, not only Sweet Story, so I probably will purchase more in the future. But yeah, again, I've bought multiple of certain things because I'm planning on gifting a bunch. I got three of these Marigold Puffy stickers and then I think I got two more in another order. But yeah, these are just really lovely, really cute. So I got three of those in this order. I got two of these Sweet Story Puffy and Phrase, what's this called? Puffy Phrase and Accent stickers. These are really nice, really, really nice. Sorry for the glare, guys. But again, I got two. I've already used some in one. One's for gifting, the other one's for using. I got another set of the Garden Party Puffy stickers. I got another set of the fresh bouquet foam stickers i love these i actually really really love this collection because it's practically all florals so i really like that then i got this pack of rosettes from the sweet story collection this i'm planning on gifting i got another set of sweet story puffy stickers again i'm planning on gifting this one then i got three packs of these Sweet Story Butterflies. I could never find these butterflies and I've been after them for so long. So when I saw them, I was like, yep. And they were on sale too, so that was amazing. I got three sets. I've already used some of one of the sets, like you can see here. Then I got myself, oh, sorry. There's two of the fresh, of the um, Sweet Story Puffy stickers. <laughs> Then I got myself two sets of ephemera from the Fresh Bouquet collection. These are so nice, really, really lovely. Love this birdie here, this hummingbird. Um, love the florals, the tags, that camera there. Really, really nice. Then I got another set of the Marigold Floral Ephemera. I'm planning on gifting this one probably. I got another pack of the Marigold cardstock stickers and I think I got a, a second one in another order because these were actually really cheap so I don't know if I paid like two euros for these or something so really nice then I got myself another marigold um, six by eight paper pad oh have I used this one already oh no this was the, the other way around can you see that this is meant to be at the top Oh, so that means I've lost some of the bits at the top. Let me check. Let's see. Yeah, so that one's all right. 
that one's okay. Yep, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's happened, guys. They've put them the other way around. Can you see? And now I've lost a bit of this page because that takes some space off of it. Those t only those two pages. Oh, that's funky. That's weird. Yeah, it's only those two, apparently. Okay, that's fine though. It's all right. I got the fresh bouquet clips. Really nice. I've got the fresh bouquet vellum sheet. That's gold foiled. I'm trying to find space around me um, to put all of the stuff, guys. I also got two sets of just plain vellum. And sorry for the glare, guys. And three sets of just acetate, transparent acetate. What else did I get? I got the box of cards and envelopes for the garden party collection. I'm sure like all of you have seen these already, but the patterns on these are really cute. So that one says, thinking of you. I didn't, this is the first time I've purchased cards and envelopes from the collections and it surprised me just how many you get. A lot. So yeah, these are all the different patterns. I'm trying to get through this quickly because I think my phone's gonna die any minute. I'll probably need to get an portable charger or something. That says happy birthday. That one there. And then that one there. So that was really nice. I'm just gonna go grab my portable charger because my phone's gonna die any minute. Okay, that's working guys. <laughs> um, the next thing I got was some Nuvo glue. I'm just gonna try and try that one out. I also got this set of gold doilies. You get 40 in here. Yeah, these are really nice. I haven't opened them yet, but yeah, they're nice. Yeah. I also stacked up on these garden party resin heart stickers. I love these. I don't wanna go without ever, so I got myself three. I might gift one or two but I'm definitely leaving at least one for like when the ones I'm using finish. I got these We Are Memo Keepers scissors because I see a lot of crafters use these and my scissors, you know, I bought them years and years and years ago and I used them before crafting, so they're not the best. Um, my my precision, precision, sorry, scissors. So I've bought these to try these out because I don't know, I've got high hopes for this. I also got these two golden puffy stickers. I think these are really cute and they were cheap. I also got this Jen Hadfield set as well. They're different shape and sizes. So I decided to get two of these and then just try with one of these. I got this, this is from Kimidori. I got this resin word that says O in pink glitter. I got two dies. I got this bowl shaker die. This is from Mintopia. And then from Mintopia as well, from their new collection called Aloha, I got this orchid die, which I'm dying to use. I can't wait to use this. The bigger ones are embossed as well. As you can see here just can't wait to use that and then i also got from rosie studio i got this set of floral ephemera get all of these here because i thought either to use or to gift with a sweet story happy mail because it does really have all the sweet story colors it's got the dark blues the corals the bright pinks the yellows the oranges and they're a bit more funky than um, other floral ephemera so I think it would match really nicely with kind of like the sweet story collection so I got that um, with your summer orders on top of there being quite a good discount 
you got a a present. You could choose a present if your order was over 30 euros or something like that. So I decided to get this um, embossing folder and it's this strawberry print on it. It's quite small. It's the size of a palm, more or less. But it's really cute and it's also from Mintopia. But this was totally a present from the company, from Kimidori. And then I... Oh, I also got... Another of these folders from their own brand. This is where I store my collections because I've purchased a new collection, which is the Prima Marketing um, Frank Garcia Frank Garcia collection. I just love this collection. I couldn't wait to have it with me. And yeah, I got the six by six paper pad says six double-sided designs five sheets each so you get 30 sheets in this one and then i also got a few value sheets because i didn't manage to get the 12 by 12 they didn't have that in stock but i got the 12 by 12 loose papers i love the kind of like silver um, holographic foil on these. I love how Prima Marketing collections, or at least this is the back of it, at least the Frank Garcia ones, which are the ones that I purchased from Prima. Um, I love how they've got foil on all the 12 by 12 loose papers. So that's one. There's the other one. This is so vintage and like shabby chic. I just love them. I love this cut apart one because it's bingo one. That's so sweet. This um, donut with all the foil, just so, so sweet. I really love it. And this is the back. This is beautiful. Oh gosh, look how beautiful that is. And then this is another one. And then this is the back of that. And then on another online order that I placed, I got some more of the pre-marketing dulce collection because they didn't have any left in the other online shop. I got the dulce ephemera. This is, oh, it must be the only ephemera pack they have. Normally they do like different sets of ephemera, don't they? I'm not sure, I'm not aware. But this is what you get in this one. Then I got the chipboard stickers. That they've also got some foil. Oh, I love, love this one. Hold on. The glare's terrible. Trying to make the most of natural light. Ah, they're falling apart. Right, I need to be really careful. There they are. That's one of the sides and then this is the other side love that one but yeah so so cute i also got there's there's a few more of the prima marketing collection bits and bobs but they're at the bottom of the box so i'm just gonna go through the box um and pick stuff randomly because it's a bit of a mess I also got the cards and envelopes from the Marigold collection. Again, these are old collections, so I'm sure you've um, seen these before, but just in case. Very nice, like I said, I was very, very happy with the cards and envelopes. So many cards and envelopes in these. This thankful for you one, the back's different, so cute. Um, Really nice. I think you get 24, I think. Oh, sorry, that's the other way around. Just for you. Um, then this pink one. I love this paper from the collection. Um, this one, you are on my mind. This one, I love this one. And this one that I also very much love. So that's that. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got these and I was very excited about these because in Spain we don't have anything like a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels or a Joann's or stuff like that like in the States. 
we don't even have like a hobby craft like in the UK. So I was very happy when I found these because I'm aware that you have very similar ones in Hobby Lobby and I had been after them for ages and just a brand called Forever in Time um, sells them. So I got these from the online shops as well from, I think this one's from Craftelia. I got the Heart Epoxy stickers. I got two. I got two of the stars one, and this is going to come in really handy for this collection here. I got them in gold. This is meant to be like a silver, but it's more like a holographic, and this is a proper, proper gold. Um, and then I got the uh, bows as well. I probably will be gifting some of these, but I just got two of each because um, they were really cheap as well. Oh, here they are. These are the other two marigold puffy stickers again. That makes five in total. This is again another marigold cardstock sticker set, um, sticker sheet. So, yep. Then I also got, oh, actually, um, I bought this is the other Frank Garcia Prima Marketing collection that I own called Autumn Sunset. And I don't think I purchased the puffy stickers, so I got myself a pack. I found, much to my surprise, a few bits from the carousel collection so I got the big puffy word stickers I got one of those then I got two of these fresh bouquet puffy stickers I got two sets of the heritage ephemera because when I bought the collection a few months ago um, they didn't have the ephemera available. Um, what else? I got myself some more of the Heritage Puffy stickers. I got these um, to gift to my pen pals. I'm going to have to start putting stuff there. A set of the Heritage, sorry, my brain went blank, of the Heritage cardstock stickers. I didn't have this one either. I got some Marigold Word Puffy stickers. I already own one of these, but they come in really handy. I might gift that one, but I don't know yet because I've gone through the other one quite a lot. Then I got some Pop Dot adhesive um, bits. I don't know how many get in here. How many? 104 pieces, two sheets. Okay, that's brilliant. This is for my packaging. When I package bows and stuff, I'll just put that. Um, I think, oh, I don't want to get this wrong, but I think Crafty Kimchi, no, I think Craft Purge, oh, I, I get them mistaken quite a bit. One of the two um, made a video explaining how she packages stuff for Happy Mail, and she used some of these in a very easy way, and I thought, yeah, let's just do that. So I bought a pack of those. I got myself a Rosie Studios mini die of this lady with the flowers that go around her hair, like her bun. And I got this for the Heritage Collection. I also got two sets of the Craftelier Basic um, mini eyelets in kind of like a mustardy yellow and a mint green. I then got as well from the Craftelier brand the corner punch. So, well, it's sim very similar to the We Are Merry Keepers, which is their own brand. And then I got this EK Tools Gardenia Flower punch. I'm trying to make some layered flowers with this one, like some tiny ones. I got a pack of very thin chipboard. I don't know where to put this anymore. And I got a pack of the Silver Mirror cardstock. I got the Heritage Specialty Paper with the gold, the glitter gold polka dots. And I got two, oh, sorry. I got two of the Carousel Specialty Papers. And then I've got some papers, so this is from the, I'll leave this here. Um, this is from the Prima Marketing Collection, the Dulce Collection. This is the back, very, very cute. 
I then got some more of the heritage papers that I didn't get my hands on the first time I purchased the collection. This one here with this one in the back. This is beautiful. Love this bird here. This cut apart sheet with that on the back. I obviously got it just for the cut aparts. I got two of those. Then I got a carousel cut apart sheet, which I'm really happy about. And that's the back. Obviously, I'm not going to go into too much um, depth with these because these are old collections, but I've got two of the word ones, and that's the back. I love the florals. I'm trying to do a lot of card making, and I'm going to use a lot of the florals with it. So um, i got two of these with the black, um, white, stripy background. i got one of these. We're going on to flourish now, yeah. One of these flourish papers with the hearts on the back. Oh, sorry, I'm really banging the... Um, cable that's charging my phone right now um how many of these did I get I got two of these with that background I love this paper from the flourish collection I got two of these I love love this paper that's the background the green one I think I got one of these yep really nice that's the background is that the, the back side of the paper um then this peacock one with that one I think I got three of these, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, one, two, three, three of this floral one with that back. And then three more of these floral ones with that back. Oh, again. And then this one with that back. I absolutely love this paper. So yeah, that's for papers and then the last thing I got were trims. Um, these trims I bought from a local shop that sells fabric and trims and ribbons and stuff like that. So I literally buy them by the meter. And let me bring the chair over because I've got them all on my chair. I got a few of the pom pom trims. This is kind of like an orangey, neony, corally colour. And this has got three layers of pom poms. I also got this teal green, teal, I don't know if you say teal blue or teal green um, trim and this has got two layers of pom-poms. I got this one here, this is like a dark pink that's also got two layers of it, of pom-poms. And then I got a light blue, which I got for the Heritage Collection, I think. Um, I try to buy stuff for the collections that I own, but I just use everything for everything. But you know what I mean. This is just a one layer pom of pom-poms. And I also got that one in, oops, in, a, the, in the pink. Very light pink. And then I got these here. Again, in that teal, green, teal, blue. I'm not sure how you say it. These are just like, they're not pom-poms. They're just like little puffy circles. And I got it in the teal and in the fuchsia or the very, very bright. I don't know if there's a yellow thing. Oh, it'll be from the other trim there. Okay. And then this very bright pink one. I also got this ruffled yellow one, which I love. Um, they had a ton of different colours, but I just wanted to try it out. But this is so cute. It's literally the ribbon already kind of ruffled for you with a little lace bit at the top. It's beautiful. I really love it. And uh, it's coming really handy with my project, so I will probably get more um, colours of this. Hold on, I'll leave it here. Um, I got this very dainty, thin, delicate one. Um, let me see here in white I think this is going to work really nicely with carousel projects I don't have much of carousel I only own what I showed you today but you know a few bits and bobs here and there um, that's going to work nicely for that I got this dark blue one with an iridescent kind of like vinyl through the middle which is really cute and then this is a repurchase I already had this a while back, but it's really nice for the winter. I love it. 
Oops. And then last but not least, I got this one here, which is really cute. This is kind of like a velvety material and it's got this shape. It's quite big. I really like this one. It's really cute. So yeah, that's it guys. That's my super mega haul. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm very grateful for all of you that are subscribing, that are watching my videos. I really hope you're all doing all right and you're feeling okay, happy. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!